Well, it's a huge accomplishment to win gold at the Olympics, but then to make history on top of that is just astounding. That's the reality for speed skater Erin Jackson, and we are so excited to have her here now. Welcome, Erin. Hey, thank you. Is it heavy? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's a pe nice piece of jewelry. Yes. Um, it's been four days since you won gold. <laughs> have you been able to kind of let that sink in? Has, has it all... <laughs> I mean, are you feeling it now? Um, it still doesn't quite feel real, you know. It's um, yeah, it's <laughs> it was pretty wild. Yeah, and sure. I imagine you've done a lot since then, even in these past four days. So does it feel like kind of an eternity ago that you won this, or? Um, uh, it doesn't feel like it's been only four days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we learned a little fun fact about you that you can sleep anywhere at any time. Has that come into effect in these last four days or have you, have you slept at all? Um, I haven't slept as much as I'd like to, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably, uh, lab bring that into play soon <laughs> yeah yeah well it's too much excitement right now yeah for and sure you, you know your journey to the olympics was certainly an unconventional one i mean uh, you posted this morning i think it was this morning that the first time you ever put on ice skates was in 2016. <laughs> what like what well, how did you decide to tackle ice skating and speed skating after you know you had been an inline skater for so long what was the transition right yeah i had been inline skating for oh at that time i don't know it would probably been almost 15 years <laughs> at that point um and then i was in the netherlands for an inline speed skating race and the friend i was staying with was like hey let's go to the ice rink and i was like okay <laughs> yeah and then uh there's the video. The rest is history. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that is just amazing that you made that change <laughs> five years ago, and here we are talking about your gold medal. But also how you got on the team is unconventional, too, right. because your teammate Brittany gave you her spot when you had stumbled during the qualifying rounds. Like, right. I feel like that is unheard of <laughs> in sports. It is, yeah. Isn't it? Like, well, I, I, so you guys go way back, right? Right, yeah, so um, we're actually from the same city in Florida, a city called Ocala. And yeah, um, she's a little older than me, so I grew up kind of like looking up to her, you know? Yeah. Um, and then to be peers now on the ice, it's just, uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, and she competed in the 1,000 meter today and right. won bronze. Right, yeah. Have you spoken to her yet? I have, I have. Um, so I woke up extra early so that I could, uh, you know, kind of chat with her before the race when she was getting ready. Um, and then I watched the race and then was ready to like <laughs> to have a chat with her again right after. Um, and then, yeah, I did a little uh, video call with her not too long ago. So. Yeah. Well, we mentioned at the top that this is a history-making medal in more ways than one. Has that been able to sink in with you that, you know, you how you, this is a, the impact you're having on the next generation in this sport? I think it's really cool to see. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages and seeing a lot of posts about it and it's it's really cool um, and you know I just try to be a good example you know whenever I can so well I hear that you know first of all let's just say that sports take up so much time in your life but you are one that likes to collect degrees <laughs> I hear that you love school and yeah. you love to collect degrees how do you balance the two because the both of them are so time-consuming right um, I actually think I'm a little better when I'm busy I guess yeah, yeah. Um, so this past year um, I haven't been studying because because I've been trying to focus more on, you know, getting ready for the games. Um, and I was like, I have so much time on my hands. I feel like I'm getting a little lazy. Oh, my God. So what degree um, are you going for now? Um, kinesiology. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> get it. Well, we are big animal lovers here um, at New York Live, and we do uh, clear the shelters. We help find homes for animals. Um, but we we know that you have a dog and a couple of cats. Yeah. When will you be reunited? Um, hopefully in just a few days. Uh, oh, God. I'm hoping to uh, <laughs> take a quick trip home uh, before oh. heading out for more races. That looks like a big kitty, That's too. That's little Bradley. Well, yeah, Aww. big Bradley. <laughs> big Bradley. Um, well, it's probably hard to even think about this right now because it's been a whirlwind. But what's next for you, Erin? Um, yeah, so we have two more races in our speed skating season. Um, so, yeah, heading to Norway and then to the Netherlands. Um, and then after that, hopefully uh, a little relaxation. <laughs> yeah, I hope yeah. so, too. One last question for you. The medal is on the right way today? Yeah, I had uh, a whole crew of people helping me put it on today. So. <laughs> because when you were at the podium, it was on backwards, It was on backwards, right? yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a nice story to tell everybody. Yeah. Well, it was so nice to meet you today. And be sure to follow Erin on social media as she continues on her journey. And tune in tonight at 8 p.m. for even more Olympic coverage starting at 8 p.m. again on NBC <laughs> and Peacock. Erin, thank you so much. Cool, thank you.